Hey guys, welcome back to Firewood on the Hill. This is Matt and I'm Sadie. Today on the show, we're going to show you guys around the wood yard, some new updates that we have out here. And then Matt is going to show you guys the new tool he got to process his IBC tote. Things are changing guys. Stick with us and find out what we got. So guys, the first thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how I process these IBC totes. As you can see all down here, I've gotten a, a new truckload of them in, um, or a trailer load, whatever you want to call it. Usually what I do, guys, is I will pull these bladders out and give them away on Craigslist, Facebook, all that good stuff. But a lot of these actually have holes in them so they can't be used for water like most people use them. So if that's the case, what I do to get rid of them is I'm going to start cutting them. Um, I have been just storing them to the side here because I don't have anything to cut with. I've tried a chainsaw and a angle grinder and those just don't seem to do the trick but i got a new saw that would, or i got a new toy that is a saw that was been given to me um that i want to try out on these totes and see how it works the idea is to cut them up into usable bins as well as cut them up so i can throw pieces into the trash and get rid of them that way so first things first let's unscrew all this and get the tote out or get the bladder out too tight for the drill to turn so you gotta turn them manually also you guys if you haven't checked out Todd's outside again we saw him at the Paul Bunyan show and he gave Matt this cool shirt, him and his wife. It's another good YouTube channel. Yep. Check them out, very nice people. All right, so these are loose now. This one's difficult. You gotta cut this middle thing. No, what I'll do is I'm just gonna turn it down and pull that out. Yeah, I'll leave these on here because I use them as to pull it out. Probably like this. And that's how I pull it out. Actually, let's step down. Alright, so we got it where we want it. So this is the Avert reciprocating saw we're gonna be using today, guys. This is a 21 volt um, battery. It does have the indicator on the front to see that it has been charged. Uh, this thing comes with a charger, a carrying case, and then four wood cutting blades and two metal cutting blades. Uh, it's a reciprocating saw. I've always wanted one. I've just never spent the money to buy one, but this was given to us. Um, so thank you for sending this our way. I'm definitely going to use this thing for more than just one application. I got a wood cutting bit on this one because that seems to be the best versus metal on plastic. So for this one, I'm going to cut in half basically and make it a usable tote for scraps.
definitely a trick to it. It's the the angles. Sometimes when you push down on it, it cuts through. It's because the the plastic's bending. So it's, what it's doing is moving the saw, bending the saw, and it's not letting the teeth get to cut on it. So we got the plastic bin processed. I'm not going to show you me cutting it out in individual pieces because that's boring. But that is how I'm going to process these using the saw. Um, the next thing we got to do is we got to now cut the opening out of the IBC tote cage. So it's super simple. All you got to do is there's this knob right here, the twist. You twist it and it lets the blade out. This is a metal cutting blade that went or came with the saw. You just stick that sucker in there and twist it, and you're ready to go. It's literally that easy. So let's go over here and saw this cage and see if we can make quick work of it. All right, I put my glasses on for this because I don't want any metal in my eyes. that the metal cut blade works as well all right guys so i'll show y'all what i'm using my reciprocating saw for um this is an avert brand like i said it works perfect have no problems with it um also if you're interested in one of these saws the link is down in the description for the coupon code as well as a link to purchase the uh, saw um this is definitely by far the best tool that i've used for cutting down IBC, IBC tote ladders. I've showed you how we process the totes. Uh, now it's time to show you guys our wood yard. Hey right, guys, I haven't shown y'all the wood yard in a while. Um, that's because I've been working on some things, trying to figure out where I want things and it's kind of just been a, a mess. But I think I'm finally getting to where it's presentable and I want to show you guys what I'm working on. Uh, I haven't really shown how much wood that I've been getting in lately just because um, I'm able to move it with the tractor used to. I showed y'all because I had to cut it up right there on the spot, right? Well, now um, I can move it. I'll show you where we're starting to store wood um, for next year, and you'd be surprised how much we got. This is the entrance of the splitting cutting wood yard. Um, you can see I've got all this piled up. I plan on moving a lot of this dirt down the hill. I have some holes to fill in. Um, and then eventually, I don't know when, I'm gonna make this hole used to be a burn pit. I'm gonna turn it into usable space because I've kind of um, kind of been running out of room and I have some things coming in place here shortly that I need room for. So the idea is to get all this scrap wood, dirt out of here. I'm going to backfill some holes on there and this is going to be empty. So if you come on down, we really haven't changed anything down here. Um, we have the pergola with the wolf ridge underneath and the conveyor. And uh, to the right is the cutting processor. See these, these IBC totes, guys. These IBC totes were from the cutting processor. So we're processing wood right here. It's going up the conveyor down to the IBC tote. We're bringing the IBC tote around next to the Wolf Ridge. And that's how we're splitting all the little stuff. Um, 
and I've kind of been expanding downhill because that's really only where I, I can go um, down through here this is where where the tree service drops and I really just need to make more room for them um, they're running out of room and I know come fall they usually just slam me with more wood um, so the goal here is to get anything like the, the stuff that's going to be able to sell this year I'm going to pull it out take it up to where we have the other wood stacked over there and we're going to process all that and this is going to all be left open for the tree service the goal here is to there's like a edge right here I just want to stack logs there once I get all this under control um, and then tree service will have plenty of room to dump so I'll show you where I've kind of started doing that guys so y'all remember this is a whole wall log I've been working through it um, and any of the new stuff has been going back here so this is all the oak that just recently came in that I'm gonna split for next year we got these two piles here and we got another pile down here um, as well as we kind of open this up and there's kind of a ditch down there that's where I'm gonna start filling all that dirt and all that stuff in to kind of flatten it out uh, if you come this way I've opened this up down here this as well is gonna be not a dump spot but any of the little stuff that will dispose of itself in a year or so it's gonna keep pushing downhill keep backfilling that I'm not putting anything massive down there because I wouldn't be able to move it if I have to um, y'all look at the size of these logs right here we've been getting in a lot of wood a lot of oak <laughs> And then all this, like, you, until you get up to it, beside of you don't realize how much there is. Needless to say, we got we got plenty of oak for next year. Um, but this is the back side of this pile. Like I said, guys, a lot of this stuff is ready to go. That that red oak's ready to go. We got some maple back there, some white ash there. This will this will clean up pretty quickly. I just gotta get back here, start pulling the logs to the wolf ridge, and start going through them. But all this right here, hopefully I can push this back a little bit and then we'll just make piles of logs. Also what this is gonna allow me to do guys is separate my wood, which I haven't been able to do just because I hadn't had room to stack it. But like these three piles right here, they're all oak. I'll put like my maple, white ash, you know, I'll start separating stuff and processing it in types of wood um, so that I could separate it better than I had been before. So that is the plans here. All right, so this is the other side of the wood yard, cutting wood yard. Um, if I remember this pile, it's still massive, but it was way more massive before. I've gotten all of this right here cut up and cleared out. So the reason I did this, guys, is for my trailer. Um, this thing is not the easiest thing to back. Um, but what this allows me to do is hook up right here with the tractor, just pull right up to, this, to the conveyor, and there's no backing involved. Um, it's not, not that I can't back, it's just making it easier, right? Um, but like I said, we're making room, guys. We're making headway here. So just to show you, I have all this right here to split. Um, just been cutting it up and throwing there. And then, like I said, this pile is still pretty pretty big, but it's uh, slimming down. And really, we're trying to make a cutting section right here. So um, anytime I get some logs in or something, I want to be able to set them up right here to cut them and then just roll them to the splitter um, or pick them up with a tractor and just drop them over there so i think i've got the process down at the splitting wood yard um, it's just getting everything where i want it um, and then i'll be 100 percent so let's go over to the uh, stacking wood yard and i'll show you what i got there all right guys we're over in the stacking wood yard and this is the wood yard that i haven't figured out yet I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. Um, we're definitely changing it up for next year. We got some thoughts, um, but I'll show you what we got now. As I showed y'all before, I've started filling IBC totes, um, and these are what we're going to take to the roadside out stand. Uh, I made a mistake and filled them with oak, and that's why a lot of these are still full. Um, the ones that were dry enough that went to the roadside out stand. Um, but the idea is to get all these full of the light, dry stuff that can go to the roadside out stand as soon as possible. Um, so the front part is all IBC coats and then we we have two rows this year so 
you can see guys the wood has been moving um, it is emptying out quickly So I know I do not want to do these rows again next year and I'll tell you two reasons. One reason is everything is in shade half the day. Like right now it's not um, because the sun is about to set and it's over there. It's just in the perfect angle. But this stuff is not in sun enough. Um, so I'm trying to bring everything away from the tree line. And obviously that means I'm losing some room, but I have a plan that I think is gonna work so for right now what i've been doing guys is anything that i've been splitting i'm sitting over here in this pile right here that i know that's going to go out and uh we're just going to keep doing that until we start getting these rows up because i need to move these rows to start the new process um which i think is basically going to be kind of wood bunkers uh but we'll see i don't i don't want to build boxes like that we'll just see how it works out um but like i said i haven't really figured it out over here all right guys so we showed you the wood yard um it's definitely a work in progress 100 percent but like i said we're uh we're making way here we're, we're finding out what's working and what's not working uh i think over here in the splitting wood yard i'm happy with the setup the stacking wood yard i have still yet to figure that out if any of y'all have any you know comments or suggestions or something like that i'm more willing to uh, hear what you got to say also guys just to remind you the link down in the description for the aver reciprocating saw there's a coupon code down there, so you're going to get a, a little bit off for purchasing on my link. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe. We'll catch you next time.